Well, hello and welcome back to another video. So today, we are, uh, I mean, I am sure going to show a tutorial of, on how to make, uh, to how to limit the color, color quality on, on RL Engine games. Like you want to make a, a retro style game. So here, I'm, I'm uh, as you can see here, I just made a monstrosity on, on purpose actually, of course. See, I made uh, like random things here and put uh, random colors so, so just to test things out. So I just, if you want to, like, for example, make it like it has only 256 color. Yeah, that's uh, how we do it. See, first of all, press G. And the line should disappear. After that, go to here and go to high resolution screenshot. Then press take a screenshot and then this pop up will appear and click on it here. Now we have this. Now we have this image here which shows the entire map. It doesn't have to be the entire map. It's just uh, supposed to show most of the colors. So right now here is GIMP. I just um, we need to open it in GIMP. GIMP is free. Also, in the RL Engine website, there is a website showing about uh, post process and yeah, you scroll down. See, we uh, down, start here. Go scroll down, down. I'll put the link in the description. Scroll down until this part. Click rating LUT. Go right click this and save image as and save it. After that, here. Open as layer. Go and select uh, the one you just downloaded. Now it will show show up here. After it shows up here, drag it somewhere. Well, not there is not many colors at. Jeez. Uh, just drag it around here, right around here. Yes. After that, you go ahead, right click on the one you just placed, right click on as the layer, and merge down. Now it now it became have become the one just one image. Why can't I talk today? Why can't I talk every time when I talk English? So now, if you want to limit the amount of colors, there is an it's game like you feel like it's like old style game go here um wait, i just didn't i didn't show go to image mode and press index then choose the generate optimum palette now this see this is the amount of color exist i'm just gonna put 256 colors oops boom now now how do you see now now the color is limited I mean, see, look at this. There's only two of six colors on, on, on all of those. See, now the color, see, before, after. I mean, it's not a big of difference, but you know what? Let's just make it 16 color just for fun. 16 color. Now this is 16 color. There's only 16 color in this entire image. Okay. Before, after. Now it's 16 color. You can just make it like low resolution. Like I'll show you. But you, you don't you don't do it here. You do it in Unreal Engine. You make like it looks pixelated. But let's just show. Let's just see it from here. How it would look like. So something like this, see? It's like you now an old game. Let's turn this back. You do, do not do the, do not save it like this. Do not scale it down. I just want to show you that how it looks like in low resolution. Now select exactly all of the image. Oh no. Okay. Select all the, all of the part we merged perfectly. 
See now it's selected perfectly. It should be pixel perfect. You press Control X or C. X for um, cut and C for copy. New. Just open the same folder and then paste on top of it. See now it just covers. This is now the new color palette. Very plain. And now let's override. If you want to override, override. You don't have to do this because this will get rid of the old version. Now, since we're done right now, let's close this screenshot thing. Uh, press G again to remove uh, to bring back the uh, lines. And you go select post process. If, if you don't have post process volume, you go here, search classes, and type in post. Pro process, drag it in, drag it in. Now see this box. It will only work if you got inside right now. If you just please, go scroll down in this side of, uh, while selecting it, and press infinite extent, meaning that it will anywhere you go, uh, the effect will be there. You don't have to be inside the box. Let's do this one. <coughs> Sorry. In, because I have already the original post process volume now, it's already placed. Now you have to scroll. Wait, let me show you first. Let me close this. Scroll down and press miscellaneous here. Mask enable this one because it will be uh, disabled by default. But before that, import, it, import the, the color grading you just made on GIMP. Now it's just it looks like this right now. See what you have to do right now is go to world, you know, a texture group, go go find color lookup table. This one. Now you can use this as a way to uh, you can use this as a color filter. Now add this. Now see there's limited color. See before. After now, there's less colors, there are way less colors, they're more green than anything else. <laughs> Pretty neat. You cannot only just limit color uh, using this track, you can also do uh, do many things like uh, color grading and many more, like making the lights look blue and something like this. Okay, now, what else? Okay, now if you play, you see everything looks looks uh, limited, very old, 16 colors only. I mean, look, this is only 16 colors. Let me full screen this. See, it's just only 16 colors. Now you can just lower the resolution to like 11. Let's do it at 50 percent here. Let's see. Let's do it a bit more. This one is way too way too high. Let's put it very low at one percent. No, the way that's that's too much. Let's put it at actually this is the wrong way of doing it. The best way of doing it is taking on post process, go back, scroll down to an, there is another menu called miscellaneous. Check the screen percentage and set this like to twenty five percent. And start playing. See now, the game looks old. But now let's let's disable. Uh, make this to make this everything to low, low quality. But let's compile shears first. Since you made all of this to low, set this to 100% because it will, show, it will show lower values. Now see, doesn't it look like an old game? It looks like a, now a retro, now looks like a retro game with 16 colors only. If you want to make it like really, really like 16 colors, so I so I am gonna. I hope this actually uh, was useful for for anyone who who starts making retro games, uh, like making. 
let's go start games and I hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye